So we're then off to the camping at Canyon Roadhouse. Now Canyon Roadhouse is built right beside a river, so where you park and the lodge accommodation and the entrance and the rooms over one side of the river, then they've built this bridge over where you can walk between the campsites which are dotted down this side and the lodge to use the facilities. If you're in a vehicle you can drive your vehicle around and park your vehicle in the campsite but they want to encourage people to walk rather than drive backwards and forwards all the time. Um, this typical campsite, again some of them are shaded better than others but it's not as shady as like a whole bass. Um, bright pit, light, plug point and communal ablutions. Nice and clean and tidy. A second campsite, as I said, the campsites are big and spacey so it is really good for groups or people um, who have multiple vehicles, which is quite handy, when you can get availability. Toilets and showers, hot water, there is the swimming pool that you can use. This is for both the lodge and the, and the bridge actually connects from the swimming pool to the campsite, the bridge we started walking over at the beginning. So then we're off to Canyon Roadhouse. Now these are solar panels that they use for backup power, but they've also built them so they're shaded parking, which in Namibia is really important. And again, characterful, all the, the whole place is, is, is very retro roadhouse. Um, used to be the cheapest accommodation in the area when they first opened it, but now it's got popular. It's got character. This truck is the reception desk. <laughs> so I, th oh yes, and then this is the bar. All of the things inside the bar, all the registration plates, all the old vehicles were gathered on Gondwana's land. So they didn't bring anything in. It was just stuff that they found lying around and they've put up there. And now people come and donate bits to put on them from their vehicles and such like. And this is also the bar and the restaurant. So the tables are dotted amongst them as well. Um, so it is very, very characterful. They have a great souvenir shop here as well. And these are the rooms. And again, the rooms, they're sort of retro modern, retro style, but very, very modern, very comfortable, well equipped, air -com. And again, the same swimming pool that connects to the campsite. So that's inside the park. So we're going to swing round to the last camping place, which is Canyon Roadhouse, which is only 17 kilometres from Hobas on the road north. Positives for staying at Canyon Roadhouse. It's prettier. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, um, it's more modern. Canyon Roadhouse itself is built in a really nice modern retro design. It's, it's designed around a 60s roadhouse motel from the States. So it's got quite a nice and a lot of uh, nice features inside it. Other positives. It has great food. It's a really convenient location because if people are driving north-south it's right on the road and don't worry there's not a lot of traffic. It's not like you're going to hear the road roaring all night with trucks going. It's a gravel road so you don't have to divert off the road to get to it because a lot of people if you're staying at I-Ice and you're going north you come to here, you have to take all this diversion down to go to I-Ice. Then when you want to get back on the main road, you either come through the gravel route this way or you drive all the way back. Whereas at uh, Canyon Roadhouse, this road here links up to the Aus Road, to Aus and Luderitz, and up to Capemans Hope to go onto the main road north there. Or there's a road straight onto Helmringhausen, and Malto and then to the desert. So you've already got a head start heading north or coming south. Um, so it's a good location. They've got a good um, selection of food. You can also stop there, and it's very popular as a place to stop over for lunch as well. So a lot of people who are traveling north-south go in there and, uh, and have a, a meal. Uh, they have a swimming pool. Other positives of Canyon Roadhouse. Just the cheapest camping in the area. At, I think it's about 2 95 per person per night. They do cater very well for groups, so they've got some big campsites but getting availability, you do have to book far ahead. Great service as well, part of the Gondwana, very good service. Modern, well-equipped rooms, they've got everything you need, including hairdryers. Price-wise, you're about 2,100 per night for a room. So, on the slightly negative side, it is a bit more expensive than, say, iIce, you're about 500 rand per person per night, but then you're getting a, a better quality of service and room, so there's a push-pull. The other thing is it is still nice and close to the Hobas viewpoint. It's the, apart from Hobas, it's um, almost the closest because you're 17 kilometers to Hobas and then you're through to the viewpoint. So it's not far from the viewpoint at all. Or limited family rooms. Yeah, so I'd say on the downside, not so good for families unless they're slightly older children. So that is Canyon Roadhouse. And again, they've got the two sorts of accommodation. 